Looking today at the Walther PPQ M2. We English speakers pronounce this Walther, but if you are German or Austrian, you would pronounce this Walther. Walther. Which, had to work on that today. Walther. So we're looking at the Walther, or Walther, PPQ, the M2 model. M2, these models have the push button for the mag similar to how we are used to most American guns versus the paddle style that you'll see on the former model. This is a wonderful striker fired weapon that actually is designed on the P99 from Walter that has been around since the mid 90s. Many people assume this gun to be new, not actually the case. It's kind of new to the American market, but most of its design parameters are based on the P99. We're gonna share with you guys what we liked, what we didn't like, and whether or not we would recommend this gun. All right, dudes, we're at the range today having a little fun. We're running the Walther PPQ 9mm, the M2 model, through its paces. The M2 is the one with the American style mag release rather than the paddles. It's a really fun shooting gun. We're going to run it through our one arm push up drill at 10 yards on the steel. This is a fun drill, puts you at a really crummy disadvantaged position. I don't know if it's applicable to anything, but it's not easy to do. Here we go. Cardboard, A zone hits are the only thing that count at seven yards. Reload, we're gonna retreat back to cover here at 10 yards and engage the steel with six more rounds. Here we go. Let's see what that target looks like down there. That was fun. This is a very enjoyable shooting gun. Looks like we got all A zone hits. We'll call it. Make sure you're locked in nice and. Yep. So you just forgot to charge the gun. So make sure you're locked in good with your grip. Good, good front sight focus right at the upper third of that steel. Don't worry about the steel, the hit will be there. You hit right up in the middle in the upper section. Good. Two hits. Three hits. Four hits. PPQ is not new in the sense that it is a uh, short recoil operated lock breech design pistol, which is very common for many semi-automatics, but they were very thoughtful in ergonomics. Ergonomics and how this gun fits the human hand. If you guys have heard us say many times that one of the most important things about shooting a weapon, pistol, rifle, shotgun, whatever, is that interface between human flesh and the steel and the plastic, and they've done a very good job with this gun. What makes this gun different than all the other polymer guns out there, a striker fired in particular, is this amazing trigger. So how they did that was redesigning it from what a lot of the other polymer maker makers striker fired makers were doing. You can go on their website and read about all the internals and how that's done. You're looking at about a 5.6 pound trigger press, which is pretty nice. Easy takedown, easy maintenance of this gun. So far we've put around 1,500 rounds through it. 
uh, zero malfunction, zero failure to feed. It's a tight gun, uh, not overly tight. I've had some female students that had issues manipulating other weapons uh, shoot this and they found it to be much easier. Very handy with the ambi slide stop lever. So a left or righty student has no issues with locking the slide to the rear or disengaging the slide stop. So we have students that use some of the other widely sold striker fired guns and they tell us we can't do a slide stop reload like that because there's a, we're a lefty shooting a gun that only has a port side uh, slide stop lever. Well, this one solves the, the, that issue. Good steel sights. There are night sights available for this gun with tritium. There are some other makers uh, that, that make aftermarket sights for this. We found these to be very accurate. They are uh, regulated nicely. One of the other things that I like is they've got some very thoughtful slide serrations, both forward and rear, to allow for a good press check, if need be, if that's part of your training. Takedown is super simple with this gun. Slide comes right off. We're gonna use this weapon for a cleaning video so you guys will be able to see some more of the innards with this gun. Uh, magazines are made for Walther by Metgar. Metgar does uh, Berettas and many other companies. This is a super highly engineered magazine. It's actually very similar to the Beretta 92 mag. Fits in our mag pouches that we have for the 92, which is nice. These are 15 round magazines. They have that uh, smooth coating on them, so they enter and leave the gun very easily. You'll notice some of the range footage that we shot with this gun. Reloads are pretty slick, and I do appreciate uh, the size and location of that mag release. It took me a little bit of uh, time to get used to the grip shape after shooting Glocks for so long, but the one thing I took no time getting accustomed to was the location and size of that mag release button. There was no accidental releases. Coincidentally, I also had no accidental lockbacks or, or failures to lock back on the slide because the way this lever is designed, they did a really good job. I don't know if we can zoom in here on this. They did a very good job of making it have enough purchase for you to physically be able to manipulate it, but it's also close enough into the slide that it, you really have to try to lift it accidentally or hold it down accidentally. And I hold the gun up high and tight. What don't I like about this pistol? just for me personally is I, I prefer a more aggressive texture. Some of the female students that we had shooting this with their smaller hands, they had no problem hanging on to it. Just personally, I like a more aggressive texture. Uh, this one, can that's something nice about plastic guns. You can always make them more aggressive. So uh, perhaps we'll do this if we end up keeping this test weapon. We would carry this gun with a plus P rated uh, duty ammo. Walther does recommend no plus P plus, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Plus P plus is a uh, ammunition type that is not hugely regulated for pressure, so there's no pressure limit for that plus P plus. So it's pretty safe of them to, to not uh, suggest that. So we have found the accuracy of this gun to be more than adequate for the type of work we're doing with it. Not sure if you would use it for, say, a bullseye competition, but we have found it to be just as accurate or more accurate than most of the striker-fired weapons that we own. The 9mm version is a, a standard cut rifling in the bore. I did notice in Walther's literature that the 45 caliber version is the polygonal type rifling which if you have that, you need to know that certain bullet types should not be shot in that. Accuracy potential, not a problem with the trigger press on this thing. It increases accuracy potential for the shooter. As you guys know, the trigger does not change the accuracy of the gun. It just allows you to stay on target while you press the trigger. And they did a very good job. Let's take a look at that. Drew, can you zoom in? As you would expect on a weapon of this type for its purpose, this has got multiple safeties. It's got the trigger safety, it has a uh, firing pin safety, and it also has the disconnector safety. In addition to that, 
Visually, it has a loaded chamber indicator we'll get a close-up of. Uh, when there is a round, the extractor actually pivots and you can see a red section here on the slide so you can visually look down in the holster and see that red to know that you have uh, a loaded chamber. So they were thoughtful about those couple of things for sure. Another cool thing, we'll get the case open here, is they provided as many makers now are, various uh, back straps. These are a good solid, I wanna say rubber. I'm not a uh, chemist, so I don't know the exact product, but they're not hard plastic. There is some flex to them, and they fit in very nicely to the gun. There's really a, a very minor line that you see where these pop in. You got three different sizes. We've got the, the middle one in there, very high bore axis. You guys hear that name constantly now, that term bore axis. So here's the, the bore. The higher up you can get, the better. And this gun allows you to get up there while keeping that slide away from flesh. If you do have big or meaty hands, they have uh, this larger grip there, which allows you even more purchase to get up even higher if you've got fleshier hands than mine. This is a gun that you're gonna be using for duty or for carry. Uh, they were wise to make both a simunition version of this gun with complete functionality as well as a red gun, which is basically a uh, completely neutered version, non-firing version that you can use for force-on-force uh, uh, -force training, classroom work, holster work, dry fire work, things of that nature, uh, where it is totally uh, uh, gonna fit in the same holsters and such. So. We're gonna keep running these guns. We're gonna keep seeing if we find faults with them. So far, we're really digging on this thing. We found it to be, as I said, a very ergonomic gun. It's a pleasure to shoot. It's got a sweet trigger. Uh, the ability to get magazines in and out is very nice. It points, it points well coming out of the holster. Uh, we've done a lot of drills from both static and moving uh, with single and, and two hands. And it's been everything that they told us it would be. So there is no end-all be-all for everybody, right? What Walther has done a great job of here is making a very ergonomic gun that's easy to shoot, accurate, and reliable, and as safe as a weapon can be mechanically, which is of extreme importance. There are a lot of folks that don't like some of the other plastic guns that may find that they can shoot this well. That's what we're gonna be using this for uh, as a reference with our students uh, that are trying to find something that fits their hand a little bit better. So we appreciate Walter getting them to us to, to test out. We look forward to seeing what they have in the future. Look for future videos with some of Walter's weapons. We're gonna be looking at the PPS soon. This is Mickey with CurieTrainer.com, reminding you to stay safe, train hard, and be well. We Americans call it Walter, but it's actually pronounced Walter. Walter. <laughs> Polyagonal, poly, how do I say that? Poly, I gotta look that word up. So, uh, they're, uh, 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 Something else most folks may or may not know, this company has been around since uh, 1886, Walter Arms. Uh, Walter Arms. You uh, lean forward a little bit in that last part. Yeah, I did it on purpose. Walter Arms, Walter Arms. Walter Arms, we will be eating the Lebkuchen and uh, the delicious schnitzel.